Alrighty now, peace and welcome to the Ogono Art Family. It's time for evolution. And so, today we're going to be talking about uh, perspective triangles. Now, I had I had recently uh, started experimenting with perspective triangles like two or three days ago. And uh, I, I knew about it before, but I really started to like look into it. And I felt it really, you know, improved my uh, my thinking. You know on bird's eye view and ant's eye view and so with perspective triangles you want to you want to think in terms of the unity between ant's eye view and bird's eye view now if you if you watch my previous tutorial on ant's eye view uh what perspective triangles would be you you'll get a grasp of how perspective triangles are because they are they are similar to this concept of intensity increasing and intensely lowering as well However, you know, everything is like kind of a, with perspective triangles, you could like uh, expand these lines a little bit. You can turn them like this or, you know, wherever you want, you know, it's just to get a grasp of how these perspective triangles uh, work, you know? And so it's similar to this concept and we're gonna review that. But firstly, we're going to uh, understand the uh, vanishing point and, you know, the backgrounds like just drawing backgrounds of cityscapes and so for cityscapes and uh, you know or backgrounds in general there's generally a uh, a vanishing line you know however however for a uh, per triangle perspective yeah however for triangle perspective we're going to be we're not going to be using a vanishing line so generally I like to use a vanishing line with vanishing points on uh, on on what on a uh, background or, or a building and so here's here's an understanding so this would be my vanishing line right this would be my vanishing line and these would simply be my vanishing points right here you know it, it could it could be anywhere in this in this line you know it doesn't matter but these would simply be my vanishing points depending on wherever I'm doing okay and we're going to be using vanishing points in in the triangle perspective but we're gonna like get the we're gonna like I'm just gonna showcase the differences because we're not gonna be using the vanish line all right and so here's a uh, here's another example right here this is a building I've I made a commission and uh, all right so similar to this concept of vanish in line and vanish in point since this is this is an idea of two-point perspective because we're using two points two point perspective uses two points so we're going to so for this this is this is a two point perspective and this here is my vanishing line so i placed the vanishing line right here at the bottom here and these are the two points that these lines are are aligning to okay all right and these these two points would be the vanishing line and usually i like to put the vanishing line the van i mean the vanishing points outside of the panel not inside because it'll, it'll look a little bit weird unless unless you're, tr you're trying to go for something something specific i generally like to you like to uh, put vanishing points outside of the panel all right and these follow the van the horizon line or the vanishing line or the, yeah the horizon line all right and so for a triangle perspective we're just going to be using one point we're going to be using one point all right and similar to like how how points originate from this this vanishing point here you know and how you know if you were to like rotate it so I'm gonna use the same exact thing if you were to like rotate it with a ruler you know you you always want your ruler to stick with the, that vanishing line I mean that vanishing point you know you know and always uh maintain maintain that perspective uh usually some people they they get careless they don't like pay attention they their, their ruler is not on the point and so they would continue like drawing and at the ruler will become off balance and they wouldn't you know notice so it would come out looking weird and whatnot so yeah that's that's an idea and so we're gonna go into a uh, triangle perspective
All right, now, so here are a few examples that I've made. We have one for uh, ant's eye view and one that's in another angle that's above using these triangles. And so what I used, you, what I used was the uh, triangle perspective as a as a guideline, and also you don't have to maintain the pers you don't have to maintain the shape within the triangle. You can break out of the triangle. The triangle is just use the, the triangle is just used as a guideline. All right, and so And so these now I've uh, outlined, I highlighted them uh, pink so that you could like see the highlights. And so uh, the perspective, the perspective point is located right here. Okay. Uh, for for this, the perspective point is located right here, and so everything is going uh, towards it. Uh, you can think of it as if a a light, a light is shining and forming some kind of triangular shape. You know, the perspective. You think of it similar to something like this, all right? How the lights, how you, you have the source right here, the source is right here, and the lights are, are are tapering, you know? They're coming out from that light source, okay? You can think of that light source as the as the uh, the vanishing point. And so keep in mind, this isn't a shading or lighting tutorial. This is just simply for you to understand the concept of how, you know, how the vanishing point is and how it works sort of you know and so you can think of it like this and how it's kind of it's tapering like that and you see how i'm uh, maintaining it within that triangle and i'm breaking the boundaries as well you know and how would you be able to spot a triangle on a figure let's say you don't you don't uh you know let's say you're drawing from observation okay how would you be able to uh, spot this triangle and how would you be able to be to spot the vanishing point and so one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the vanishing point has equal lines, okay? So this line here, like the line that's going here, this side of the triangle, these two are equal, all right? These two are equal. And uh, when you come from, when you come to this side of the triangle, this isn't as equal, you know? So. <laughs> so if you were to come to this side, okay, sure this is this one is longer. This side of the triangle is a lot longer compared to this, which is uh which is shorter. Okay? So the this 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 is not equal, so the vanishing the vanishing point is not here. Okay. The same thing goes for this as well. You know, this is not equal, so the vanishing point is not here. Vanishing point is usually where the two lines are equal. Okay, like these two lines are equal. So I'm gonna give you guys another example, which is right here. This is like a, a bird's eye view perspective. Uh, the vanishing, this is this is where the vanishing point is located here. Okay, and because I know that these these sides of the triangle are equal, this is where the vanishing point is located. You know, and this right here they're not as they're not as equal okay if you were to uh, kind of measure it here and the same likewise come uh, the same thing goes for this okay the vanishing the vanishing point will be located to where the, the sides of the triangle are equal okay and now now that you understand this concept uh, this isn't always the case however this this would be a helpful thing to understand when you're looking at a model okay so I'm going to show you uh, a few cases later on where it does kind of it does like a, it doesn't do that per se so 
And so this is another example of uh, of the uh, the triangle perspective, how it's like skewed and and, and all that, you know. And so these two and this so these two points are these aren't the vanishing these aren't the vanishing points. Okay, there's only we're only using one vanishing point, all right. And so if you were to like kind of measure this this side, if you were to measure this side of the triangle to this side this would not be equal because this is a lot longer okay and if you were to measure this side and etc this wouldn't be equal so what would be equal if you measured both sides this side and this side they would they seem like they would align if they they came together right and so this is where the, your vanishing point will be and this is where everything your vanish this is where uh, things will get smaller or bigger depending on if you're doing bird's eye view or ant's eye view but I want you to get the concept that tri the triangle perspective is, is a unity it unites both bird's eye view and and ant's eye view all right and so this is what it, it would look like this these are just close-ups and these are just a quick sketch I'll have a, a model I'll have a example of what I did there um, because I did this before the video uh, and these are just things the, the video the sketches I did now and so you can see how how this would be equal like this side would be equal you know alrighty now so this is this is what actually inspired the video and so I'll have a much more clear image right besides this video so that you can see what I'm talking about so right here is where the vanishing point would be located here because these two sides are equal to each other okay and so the van if the if the vanishing point the vanishing point wouldn't be located right here because this this side of the triangle isn't equal to this long longer side all right and so also note that anything that's going towards the vanishing point is getting smaller however there's no there there, there are no uh there are no uh figures or body parts near this vanishing point okay so everything is is a uh, you know just the same somewhat somewhat the same uh, near this edge here okay and so if we come here this is where the vanishing point is this is where the vanishing point is this is like an anti view this this is a lot uh, bigger too since this is also an anti view things get smaller or bigger it depends just think of the triangle as a, some kind of a unity of the two all right and so this is where it gets bigger and as you uh, you know use your uh, as things go further away from this vanishing point, things get a lot smaller. Uh, the same, this this same thing is similar to how this is operating. Uh, where would the vanishing point be? Right here, all right. And this is uh, also similar. This is like a anti view vanishing point located right here, all right. And things get bigger. And bird's eye view, somewhat. So vanishing point is located here, and things get, uh, you know smaller fruit and also one thing I want you guys to uh, keep in mind is that uh, for angles or positions like this this top part here this is not the only vanishing point all right there's another vanishing point since she's turning she's, she's turning left there's another vanishing point to the left all right it's somewhere it's located somewhere right here all right and this is where your the knees her knees would match up this is where where her feet would match up it's, it's located somewhere right here you know this is where that vanishing point is located and so if she was turning right then there would be a vanishing point located somewhere somewhere here but she's not turning right she's turning she's turning left okay so there's a vanishing point here so here's a visual example a vivid example of what i was talking about of a, um, a more extreme version of the triangle starting to break the rules and so the vanishing point will be located somewhere below here and as things you know go up here they start to expand more and as you can see uh, the arm here it's the arms of, of Yusuke's drawing and so it starts to break the boundaries a little bit it's literally breaking the boundaries you know it, it's popping out towards us because now um, there, the camera, there are likely going, uh, towards you know, some the viewer mistakes some errors you know in terms and of perspective you can on, use these on like this uh, you can start to break the boundaries if you want to go to a more extreme level you know and this is like an example of a very old drawing that I made. Uh, I wasn't aware of the triangle back then. However, this this was uh, my uh, my perspective, my perspective goal 
as uh, as to uh, having a limb pop out at you you know so as you can see that here's what the triangle was like and then here's uh, some of the, uh, the here's how the arm is popping out so because I wasn't aware of that triangle but now that I am aware of it I can use it to my advantage now because I just discovered like 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 uh, two or three days ago and I'm starting to make all these links you know so in the beginning of this tutorial we've seen the triangle come from up here we either do it from down here or we're coming up here you know or we're maybe just changing ch turning the triangle like this and we're looking at it from below or looking at it from 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 above okay now what this person is doing what he's he's doing Yusuke is doing we're not we're not just we're not just looking at it from below or doing it like this or you know looking at it looking at it from like you know again below or one side or having the triangle fall what what he's doing actually is he is uh he's rotating this triangle here this now this is where things can get complicated okay so here's the triangle this is more advanced so so this is when things can get complicated and as you can see he's rotating this triangle so the perspective point is still here but uh you know the, the reason why this this line at the end may look bigger is just due to how you know how this perspective is like you know so you can see how this tape is tape is kind of riding upwards just due to perspective i'm not really i'm not really changing this much i'm just changing the camera then you can see how the tape is riding up you know so this is why it may appear that way because we're looking at it and he's he's really you know he's really playing around with the triangle a little bit you know and so however for beginners i'd recommend to just stick to the practice the uh the things i mentioned in the beginning first before you start to to uh explore more with the triangle now here's an extra bonus extra extra tip now how did yusuke pop this out how did, how did he pop the arm out and so I like to use cylinders. I have a tutorial. I have a tutorial already on understanding the basic structure of the, of the cylinder, and so you can go watch that. And so these are the two cylinders. These two cylinders. These two cylinders here represent the forearm and the other and the other part of the arm here. And right here is the, and right here is the joint. Okay. And these these two ends of the cylinder. The, these two ends of the full circles. They should be the same. The exact same. Okay. And then as you start to go up more, the, the things since yeah perspective this this side it gets bigger okay and right here this gets a lot more smaller is due to perspective however these two ends of the cylinder or starts depending on where you're looking at will be the same size okay now if we were to do it here for the chester example this would be the biggest side this these two these two full circles that that form the that make the R B if the arm combined should be the same cylinder size, okay? And then this end cylinder here should be a lot smaller, just due to perspective, a lot tinier, just due to perspective. 